I'd like to introduce to you PC Tran BVER 1200. PC Tran is a nuclear power plant simulator, and BVER 1200 is the Russian design that pressurized the water reactor. Uh, is based on the uh, older BVER 1000 with slightly uh, larger uh, power output to. Uh, 1200 megawatt electric or 3200 megawatt uh, thermal. The Russian design a pressurized water reactor, the major difference uh, it has a uh, horizontal uh, steam generator. It's a four loop plant. We modeled uh, by one loop with the pressurizer at the left, and three of the other steam generator combined. Uh, on the right. Here's the core, few assemblies, and uh, the vertical uh, control assemblies uh, mostly out uh, for full power operation. See the power is about 3200 megawatt. And hot water going out into the steam generator many tubes and uh, heated the, steep, the water in the steam generator secondary side. So the primary water is pumped back into the core and circulate inside the reactor vessel. The steam is cracked into steam line driven by the turbine and uh, power the generator. The feed water is condensed and return back to the steam generator. That's about the same. Uh, pressurizer is controlled by the feed and bleed system. Uh, it's also in the West it's called uh, uh, chemical and volume control system where it's pressure and the water level. If the water level is uh, too high, uh, the feed is going down, and it is too low, the uh, feed will go up. And it's also control the bar on concentration uh, during startup, as well as uh, during the lifetime, with a reduction of uh, bar on concentration. And for the emergency. Uh, Cooling, there is a. There are two accumulator system in in Russian acronym is EWST. The first train, there are four of them, and uh, the nitrogen pressure is filled to uh, uh, fifty-eight bar, and the second train has eight of them. Uh, and their pressure is geared uh, to 25 uh, bar. Uh, so they are considerably more than the Western uh, PWRs. And for low pressure injection, uh, is similar to the uh, Western. It has shutdown mode, shutdown cooling mode, and the low pressure injection mode. And uh, there's some recirculation. Uh, pouring water from the refueling uh, heat, refueling water storage tank. So at the beginning of uh, run, we click the run, and you see everything is stable, near 100 percent power condition. In order to reduce the power, uh, we can hit the. Uh, demand say 90 percent and you see the control rod was slowly inserted into the core and the more neutron absorption reduced the power level. In the meantime the pressure of the uh, primary and secondary side are, co are controlled according to the design. We can see the uh, 
transient plots that are in alphabetical order. You see the power of the neutron flux, the core thermal power and the turbine load. Click OK and we may speed up the simulation you know, just to, to get uh, faster. The, the blue line is the turbine load and neutron flux and thermal power follow that until it balance in into 90 percent. And we can switch to other variables because we want to see the pressure of the primary pressure the P vehicular system and the steam generator because uh, we started uh, about 160 bar so I put the range at 200 and I'll click OK you see the primary pressure and secondary pressure more or less constant. Uh, it's because the control of the pressurizer and steam generators. So that's for normal operation. And uh, during accident, we can click the uh, menu of more function. There are 20 categories loss of coolant accidents, steam line break, loss of AC power. Anticipate transient without screen, steam generator, tube rupture. So, right now we just choose one large brick block of coolant accident, say 1000 centimeters square. Click OK and close the window and start to run. You see, there's a large brick. So, pressurizer become empty and uh, the reactor pressure dropped dramatically from 150 down to 60 bars now. And the accumulator, the first trend of force accumulator turned off. And high pressure injection pump also turned off. What's the difference for Russian uh, design? There's a bubble condenser inside the core. And there are also passive heat removal passive heat removal system in the steam, the steam generator. Okay. Now the second layer of, of uh, accumulator also start. In case of uh, we loss of offside power, we lose the AC pumps. Those uh, make up coolant are sufficient to compensate the uh, coolant loss. So everything is stable. We can show you the uh, BVR 1200's design of the containment. It's double layer. Okay, there's one and the second one. And the vent uh, between the two layers of uh, containment. And there are also Debris cooling for we I can show you a previously uh, saved condition of a vessel vessel failure. Okay, see in this case the core is uh, partially melt and the debris accumulate at the bottom of the reactor vessel. So the passive uh, cooling system and the anulus uh, vent of the VVER 1200 will minimize the uh, radioactive uh, release to the environment off-site. So all the uh, radioactive uh, material uh, and tissue products uh, are keep tracked in this uh, uh, PC Trend VVR 1200 model. Uh, 
So, so this case and many others, uh, you may try that out. The uh, demo is limited the runtime, only 300 seconds. But you can uh, repeatedly try various uh, combination of accidents. So you get an idea that the VVR1200 is a very robust, uh, the first one already uh, commissioned in Russia. Uh, more uh, under construction in China, uh, India, and the plant in Egypt, uh, Bulgaria, and many other countries. Thank you.